Hey movie fans, ready to talk to you guys tonight about a movie called The Other Side of Heaven 2, um, Fire of Faith. Maybe not a movie that everybody's heard of, uh, not one of those big budget Hollywood movies. This is a, a faith film and it's a sequel to The Other Side of Heaven, which tells the story of a missionary from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints who serves a mission in the Tongan Islands in Tonga. Uh, this one, this sequel then, is him going back to Tonga as a mission president with his wife and his young children, kind of as a, a leader and a supervisor over to the missionaries that are there then. Uh, like Elder Groberg, I was a missionary. I served in the Fiji Islands right next to Tonga, so definitely a lot of similarities. Uh, in the first movie, he even stops in Fiji on his way and then in this one, it mentions a lot how he is the mission president over Tonga and Fiji, but uh, you don't actually get to go to Fiji in this one, which I was hoping for, but it's okay. There were some Fijian actors who were in the movie, so that's pretty cool. Uh, while I was on my mission, I served from 2001 to 2003. Elder Groberg actually came and visited our mission and you know gave like inspiring messages and part of that included him showing us clips from the first movie uh, so that was pretty awesome to have him there in person giving you know like commentary on the scenes and, and telling us about it um, one of my favorite ones that I remember was uh, the scene in the first movie when Elder Groberg gets thrown off of a boat like in a huge storm and uh, he was like in the water thinking he was, you know, maybe going to die, drowning, um, and just kind of like mad, you know, like thinking, why would this be happening to me? I'm, I'm giving my life to serve Heavenly Father. Why would he let this you know, bad thing happen to me? Why would he let me go in the water? Missionaries aren't even supposed to swim. <laughs> and then he said into his mind came this thought, stop complaining and start swimming. Which I think is just such a cool message. It's a great lesson. We get so caught up sometimes complaining that we forget that. Oh wait, there's actually something I can do about this to better my situation. So stop complaining and start swimming. I love it. Um, I don't want to have any spoilers for you about the second one. But I do just want to emphasize that this movie has great messages of faith. Um, this is why you watch it. I mean, it's not like you're, you're going to expect to see this in the Oscars or anything like that. Um, it has some great visuals. I thought there were some really cool um, cinematic shots of especially the islands and you know kind of outer views so you can see uh, the, the islands from kind of far away and I, I thought some of those were stunning and just really beautiful. So I loved how they did that. Um, there is great storytelling overall to the movie but really it's the, the messages of faith and the, the faith promoting experiences that are told through the movie that make it so great and so uh, impactful and definitely wonderful to watch. Um, one of the great messages that I think is important to tell you about and to watch for and look for when you go see it is that faith is unifying. I don't want to elaborate on that too much. Like I said, I don't want any spoilers, but just remember that phrase, faith is unifying. Uh, a second message of faith that I got from it was that faith is not a part of life, it's a way of life. Um, it's not just found in moments, you know, it's something that is lived. And so, yeah, through our process of life and through the experiences that we have, faith can be a constant choice and a way to live our lives and have great joy and happiness and, and you know, the, the hard times are going to be there. And you see that again through the movie as well, the challenges and things that come and, you know, it's called the fire of faith. But we, we can be assured as we're faithful of happy endings. And if it's not happy yet, well, keep waiting. That happy ending will come. Uh, it really did just hit so close to home for me, you know, having served um, on the islands with people that were so loving, so faithful, so humble. And really, in Fiji, I just met the kindest human beings I've ever met. Uh, they would give you anything and everything. They just care so much. Uh, such a wonderful and life-changing experience for me personally. So really cool to see similar experiences shown on the big screen in a movie this way. That's just so faith-promoting. It's definitely worth your time to see this movie, so go check it out. 
Um, you don't have to be a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints to, to gain from its messages and what it teaches. Um, very cool. They, they do have the same actor back for Elder Groberg as the first one. Not for his wife, Jean. They couldn't get Anne Hathaway back. <laughs> kind of cool that it was her in the first one, though, right? Uh, I think that's awesome. Uh, I thought it was really cool that they had uh, President Monson, Thomas S. Monson, who was a, a church president for, for a few years, um, as a character in the movie, you know, prior to his time as president. Um, there serving and, and, and working and assisting Elder Groberg. So that was pretty cool. I thought that really worked out for the film to have him there, and that was pretty fun. Uh, I also loved in this movie where there were uh, echoes from the first movie and uh, little of the mini stories that were kind of continued on from the first movie into the sequel. Um, that being said, you don't have to have had seen the first one really to enjoy this one. I think it works as a standalone and you can get a lot from it and it does a good job setting it up without even if you hadn't seen the first movie. So you can go watch it without that. Uh, but I would recommend the first one as well. <laughs> Definitely going to have a great experience with it though. Uh, powerful, touching, and moving, faith-promoting stories that are, are packed into this movie. Uh, I took my kids with me, a few of my kids, and they loved it. They really enjoyed it. Uh, that was happy for me to see how much they enjoyed it and how much they had a good time with this movie. It is PG-13. There is a scene where uh, a missionary gets beat up and so there's there's some like blood on the face there from that but uh, I mean obviously it's a it's a very clean movie uh, that's where the PG-13 rating really comes from uh, that's that movie guys that's the other side of heaven too fire of faith go check it out as for me I can't wait to see it twice thanks for tuning in